We're here at Winter Nam 2013 with Peter Dyer at the Dave Smith Instruments booth. And Dave Smith. Uh, Peter plays uh, auxiliary keys with uh, Mariah Carey next to Eric Daniels. Does a bunch of other really cool gigs. Uh, today he's going to show us Dave's latest creation, which you may have just seen the press release about if you've been on our Twitter page. It is the Prophet 12. 12 people. So um, I imagine it has uh, 12 voices. And uh, tell us uh, more about it. It's, uh, it's got two extra envelopes, which is awesome. Uh, the same architecture as like the Prophet, so it's uh, pretty comfy. Um, the biggest thing is the uh, you've got four oscillators instead of just the two, and um, they uh, they've got the slop control, which you can dial in anything from pristine uh, digital to like a beat up Prophet Five, one that got jumped down um, a staircase, which I love. The distortion here, a bunch of effects, drive, everything. The two sliders here, just like the Tempest, which uh, make for lots of extra control. Um, it's just, it's a beast. I love it. Now, the two oscillators, is that two digital, two, di two analog, like the Evolver? Um, I think they're they're okay. all digital. It's a, it's a hybrid like the Poly, but um, all digital oscillators, which gives you a little more flexibility. There's um, these extra, um, you've got your sawtooth, triangle, pulse, that are all moddable. And, um, there's sine and a couple waves as well, which uh, you can get some crazy harmonics when you start shifting. See, um, and within that, uh, we've got FM and AM for each one, as well as sync, which goes completely wacky if you wanted to. Um, I'm still trying to understand it, but it's great. <laughs> so, um, a gang of mod routings. Um, just like the Prophet, but even more. Um, the two envelopes is just, it's great. And uh, so you go into your mod matrix and you've got uh, this huge mod matrix that um, you can assign the mod wheel to one or 12 things. Um, say you want pitch bend to do pitch as well as drive up LFO speed at the same time. You can all do that and it's all programmable. Um, and uh, you've got split or stack as well. So you have a, com a totally separate board um, that you can either split totally separate controls or you can stack them for well mega patches. Um, people will like the high pass filter too, that's new. So So now for analog style waves, which uh, people are gonna want from you, you're doing uh, modeling or uh, we have our some... own technology, but yeah we're doing uh, you know the standard saw pulse width with pulse width control, uh, triangle with pulse width control on that also. Uh, and sine waves, but then we also have wavetables in there that could be mixed in a special different way that we came up with. So there's all kinds of different features on the oscillators. So a ton of stuff going on, sub-oscillator of course. On so basically they have five oscillators per voice times 12. It gets a little little insane after a while. So that, that's, uh, that's certainly a huge sound. Well, um, I posted on our Facebook uh, today that we're gonna to have to arm wrestle with our reviewers to see who gets to take this home, but you know we'll be we'll be bugging you for a review unit as soon as you're ready. And awesome. Yeah, and we also have every voice since it again it's an analog back end, so it's a high. Uh, we have both high pass and low pass analog filters, and they're both resonant, so you can turn up the resonance on the high pass, which is great. And then we have tuned feedback like in the Poly keyboard, and we have a quad stereo digital delay per voice, which is really awesome when you start doing everything individually on a, on a voice. And of course, everything syncs to everything else. Your LFOs can sync to the arpeggiator, it syncs to the uh, external clock and the delay, so you can do all kinds of super crazy rhythmic things. It's just, it's a monster. And then the uh, distortion unit at the end is an analog dual stereo analog distortion unit. So if you want to crank it up separately from the drive control, which is per voice, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. It goes well beyond any of our other instruments. Fabulous. And, and the analog filters, I would imagine, go a long way towards getting the analog sound. For purists who are going to go, ah, digital oscillator, I don't know. You know. We don't take sides except when it comes to the filters. You know, digital oscillators give us the choice. We, we can do so much more with it, the, the control aspects. We can do precise FM with them, and we have four oscillators that can all FM each other, however crazy you want to get. You can't do that with analog. And as long as it goes through the analog filters and it's all analog after that, it doesn't matter. So we don't take sides too much. You know, there's the VCO crowd out there, and that's fine. But with the stuff we can do in this instrument, it's new, it's clean, or like Peter said, you turn the slop control up and it's not clean anymore. 
and we have so many ways of trashing the sound in this machine, stuff that you can't do in analog. Uh, but again, goes through the analog filters, completely analog after that. It all works. Well, thanks for the look. Let's, um, Peter, let's uh, play us out here. Let's hear a little bit of it. Fabulous. Okay. Thanks so much. We'll be seeing you around the floor. Right. Be in touch.